Now, some people are complaining because they say Windows 10, you can't change the look of your dialog boxes and fonts and all that and borders like you could in Windows 7. But in fact, you can change uh, most of it, a lot of it. You can change the color of your title bar up here and the fonts here and fonts in several other places. So uh, let's take a look. So we're going to click down here in the Windows icon and we're going to go to Settings, which is the gear. And we're going to go up here and uh, look at Personalization. And in Personalization, there's a, here's the main area you're going to do everything. But here, you have the background. But if you look, the second one is Colors. In Colors, it, it determines uh, what your action is, like up here at the title bar. You can do that by uh, automatically picking the accent color from my your background, which is like in this case blue. I have it permanently on blue. But it makes Start, Test Bar, and Action Center transparent. If you open up your Start menu, you'll see that it's transparent. It's sort of hazy. You can see through it. Same thing goes from Notification Center. Uh, some people like that to show your orientation and where you're at. It says Show Color. If I turn that off, these uh, change back to a gray transparent, not to your selected color. Uh, let's turn that back on. Now we can also, uh, you can also set your themes. If you notice here, you press dark and it changes from a white background inside your application. Uh, that's your app mode. It doesn't change anything else here. It's just within your applications. And so you can change back to a, a light theme there. And unless an application is set for it, uh, it'll obey that. Now there's a thing you should show color on title bar. That's the top up here. I have it on, so therefore it shows it there. You can turn that off as well, and it'll just be a gray bar up the top. Now we're uh, done with colors, basically. There's, the, there's a few options. We're going to go a little bit further than just this. In order to do that, we're going to have to go into the System menu and then click on Display. There's two ways to do this. You can do this for your entire desktop and apps and everything, but just by resizing your text. Now watch the size of the text on the icons and on this menu on the left. As soon as I click this up to 125 over here, uh, you'll see what happens. And boom, everything is bigger, including your text and, and everything, that, uh, icons and all that. So that's a, a large scale or mass change. But we're going to do something a little bit different than that. By clicking on Advanced Display Settings here at the bottom, you'll see that it goes back here to Advanced. And let's move this around a little bit. And down here, there's several different settings on all sorts of stuff. But then, advanced sizing of text and other items. So if we click on this, you'll see that uh, you can, up here it explains how you can go back and use the master one. But uh, that's not what we want to do. We've already determined that. What we want, and it's not recommended, what we want to do is use the drop-down box down here to change only the text size. Now, in order to see a difference, I'm going to bring up a browser uh, with my current text size on the drop downs. For example, if I click here, you'll see the size of all these texts of all these shortcuts that I have. Uh, they're the normal size for that. But sometimes they get a little hard to read, and so you may want to change it. So here's how. We go back here to the uh, dialog box for settings for the display that I brought up earlier. And we'll go here to the, the entry here where you can change different sizes of things, like title bars. That's stuff for up here. But you can also select other things. But first, let's do title bars. So we do here, you'll see that the text in the title bar has changed. Now again, you'll see that the stuff on the desktop hasn't changed. It only affects the title bars of uh, boxes. So let's go back and take a look here. The menu hasn't changed like we talked about earlier. So let's go change that now. So we head back to the settings screen, uh, using the same settings as before. Come over here and choose menus. Uh, change it to... 12 again and say apply. After the system refreshes and we come back over here, uh, you'll see that they're bigger, easier to read. So we affect only that one thing. I mean by one thing, it only affects menus, whether it's in a browser or if we minimize that and we go over here to right click on something that's bigger there as well. Okay, so it all depends. Uh, even if we go over here to right click on those, they're bigger because they're menus. So you can go here and choose this drop-down to choose uh, just about anything you want. Uh, menus, message boxes, palette titles, icons, tooltips. Uh, let's, uh, let's choose icons for our last example here. If you click on icons, and you'll see here if I choose that and go over here on the left and I look to see what size those are there, let's say I can't see that too well, I want to change it. So I simply come over here, change it to 12, click apply, and boom. The text is much easier to read. So there you have it, advanced text sizing in Windows 10. Just use this menu here to uh, do it. You just have to get into the right place. 
and you can customize it so it's much easier to read for daily use. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.